I thought I was going to be in the military my whole life. My, most of my family's military. Um, and I went to Germany for a year and a half after high school, and that's kind of where it hit. Eating around in Europe really got me excited, you know. To me, it was like the coolest thing, like so rad, so out of the ordinary, and it just started, you know, I started getting excited about it. I think Snack Bar is right now one of the most comfortable places in the city. The crowd is great. They're a lot of fun. We interact with them. The staff is really on point. I think our, our bar program is outstanding. Uh, the food is very comfortable. The food is very familiar. It's very warming. It's very casual. You can get a full meal. You can have a full dinner. You know, go all in, or you can just come for a glass of wine, or just have dessert. Or and we use a lot of spices in the cooking. There's a lot of Japanese influence and Japanese ingredients, but it's by no means Japanese food. I mean, it's very American food. I think in the beginning there was one dish that people just craved was this bowl of Brussels sprouts. People really fell in love with the dish. I mean, for me, that's a huge reward. It's a huge compliment because it's it's all about just making good food and putting it out there. And, when people are receptive to something, especially the kind of the surprise dishes, you know, being what's pushed aside on the plate when I was growing up as a kid. If you taste something and it tastes good, it doesn't really matter what it is. Basically, we try to make this what they call like the third place, where it's not home, it's not work. You know, this is kind of the in-between, where can, people can really come and kind of let loose and just feel comfortable, have a good time. We wanted to take sort of the fussy elements out of fine dining, you know, throw a little rock and roll into it, have the iPod up maybe a little too loud and have a lot of fun, and, but still give people everything that we've spent time, you know, accumulating over the years and learning about fine dining and, you know, making it soigné and, and giving people really, really good stuff, but in a very unassuming, you know, kind of chill environment. You know, we just wanted to have fun. We wanted to do what we wanted to do. You know, my, my partner's great with that. He always says, you know what, you know, try it. If it works, great. If it doesn't, yeah, we'll change it. I love Philadelphia. It's, I've been all over. I've been lucky enough to travel in Europe extensively. I've been able to live on the West Coast, I've spent time in New York, um, been to the Midwest. I just love Philly. I think it has so much potential. I think it's such a great place to live. I think it's a great place to raise a family. I think that every year Philly is just climbing and climbing and climbing. More and more chefs are coming to Philadelphia and opening restaurants here. And I think a, a good sign too is that when chefs from Philadelphia are starting to branch out. Rittenhouse Square has this unique persona that it's kind of like a college campus for successful people. You've got your bookstore, your coffee shop, you know, your nice hotel, swanky bar, uh, the dive bars, you know, there's a little bit of everything around here. So it's, it's kind of fun to just be, to be a part of that and, that, and to see all the people that, that come through our doors.